I'll always be strong. You know what gives us strength in life is the Holy Spirit and God's Word. Fellowship with other Christians, being involved in the community of faith. Those are all places of strength. Watching Christian television, a place of strength. We always on real life have looked at the Word and today I want to do the same. We're changing some things around. I hope you are enjoying the way the program's flowing. It makes us run around the studio a little bit more, but, but here is here, let's go, let's go to the Word, and Terry, we, you, you, we always do this together, okay. so let's go to the Word. Mm -hmm. And today's scripture is found in Psalms, the 30th chapter, the 11th verse, and it says this, You have turned for me my mourning into dancing. You have put off my sackcloth and clothed me with gladness. You know, brothers and sisters, life isn't always easy. It has difficulties, it has pains and sorrows, and you know, we can't get out of that. Those are things that we happen in our life, we can't get out of that. But you know, what we can do is change our perspective. For every sorrow, there's a joy. So instead of counting our problems, let's count our blessings. I believe that with every change of our perspective, we will see firsthand how God is already turning our mourning into dancing. Mm. You know, guys, that sounds like a subtle change, but it's so powerful mm. when we focus on the positive there's negatives happening, Brother Tim, mm -hmm. but you know, why think about those? Why not put our focus on the positive? Mm -hmm. You know, what's really good is that the negatives even show in a greater way. Uh, we were just talking about that uh, earlier, in a greater way, God's faithfulness. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, my wife went through uh, breast cancer and breast cancer surgery and all those things, and, and we mm -hmm. found three things to be true, even through the, the difficult, dark places that that was. God always loves us. He is always faithful and he is always good. And it shows the world in better ways that he's those things when we go through those dark places. Right. He does turn our morning to dancing. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah, mm -hmm. hallelujah. I just heard Joel Osteen say the exact same thing that you said. He said, how do you go through a really hard trial in life and find something positive. That's the only way to get up out of it and to let that joy of the Lord become your strength is if you'll focus on what's going right that's rather right. than everything that's going wrong. Mm -hmm. right. and, and like even our guest said earlier, mm -hmm. tell your mountain how big your Amen. God is. That's Amen. right, that's right. And sometimes you may have a hard time even coming up with positive positive things to think about. So you go to the Word of God Amen. and it is full of His promises and His promises are for you. They're not just for selected folks, they're for you. Amen. And so that's something you can apply to yourself. And that's what we do at the end of every mm -hmm. real life program. We pray for your prayer requests and that's what we're here to do t right now. And there, you guys have some, look at, look at, we don't have the time to go through all of them, but I have a praise report that I want to share with you. Harold uh, took a call from Carol and Carol says her son was offered a job position and has decided to accept mm -hmm. it. Well, that's what praise God. You know, a lot of people waiting for, looking for work, mm -hmm. trying to find a job. Does God inter intervene in our lives in that kind of basic world? Yes, he does. Mm -hmm. Tim, you have a prayer request? And he cares about the great things and the little things. This mm -hmm. one touched my heart. Uh, Monique had called and her son just started back to school and isn't able to make any friends. He still sits by the curb. And I, I think about uh, Bill Wilson's story, how he yes. was on the curb for that long. Yep. And, but God cares about that. Monique, if, if, yes. if you care about it, guess what? God cares he about it God. and he loves you that way. God really. send that little boy some Amen. friends, friends. some great Amen. godly friends in Jesus' name. And Esther here called diabetes, cancer, depression, anxiety, overweight. And I tell you what, you can come up out of that Amen. and nothing can weigh you down in life because God is for you. Run to him, he will heal you, he will help you. He will be your source of all strength and all hope. Amen. Amen. Well, um, Stephen, we're gonna be praying for you because you're in your second treatment of chemo. Mm. And so we're praying for healing and strength God's wisdom and His infinite mercy in your life. And for all of you that are, are going through that as well, any kind of chemo or, or any kind of treatment for cancer, we are lifting up prayers for you. In Jesus' name, Sherry calls. She says she has a parasite under her skins and pray to remove it. Sherry, put your hand, take your right hand right now, put it on that spot where that parasite is. And let's pray. Father, yes. thank you, we curse that parasite in the name of Jesus. Yes. Speak healing and health to Sherry, Father, that that parasite has to dry up, be gone in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Well, we're so glad to be able to be partners with you in ministry, partners with you in, in, in prayer. 
we close with a prayer. Guys, let's put a bit, we feel like we're a long way apart, but maybe this is, the kiosk hasn't gotten any bigger. So, <laughs> so let's pray. Well, Lord, we thank you that you are our God and we are your people. Lord, you're our daddy. Just like that little boy. Sometimes we feel like we're on the curb looking and Lord, we, we know you are our daddy. Lord, send your love out in a special wave of, of renewing, Lord, for everybody who called in for prayer requests, Lord. Every need, Lord, we lift up in the name of Jesus. Every healing, every relationship, every financial issue, Father, we lift them up to our daddy, our daddy who can, we can trust. And we love you, Father. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. amen. And amen. Well, guys, first episode. That's Yay. right. Yay. Our producer knows the count. <laughs> Hard for me to believe. Can Hard we for put me a to pie believe. in his face? <laughs> well, it, no, no, no. They gotta watch. They gotta stay and watch real life. You know, in the next few weeks, and you'll see that happen. We need a little see humor. That well, you know, it, it's, it's all about people knowing that God really loves them, despite right. the difficulty yes. they're going through. God loves you. Yes. Amen. Well, I, John just gave me a number. What is that number, John? Again, it's 552. 522. 522 episodes. Wow. Here we go. That's right. Here we go. God. Wait, we're going to have a party when it's 600 or 550. <laughs> Let's do that. Well, there's a, if you want more to connect with us, watch this. We got something to show you.